What's up everybody? Hope you are doing awesome. Chris Wright here and today we are talking funnels. There is nothing, and I mean nothing more frustrating than getting your first funnel set up, getting it launched, starting to drive traffic, and then seeing absolutely nothing. No sales, no leads, nothing. It's like tumbleweed. It's so frustrating, I, and I totally get it. And that's why today what I thought I'd show you is just a small tweak that can have a massive impact on your funnel. Now, picture this. You're on Amazon, you're scrolling through, you've gone there specifically to buy a certain product. Maybe someone's told you about something that you should get. Right, you're on there, you're scrolling through, you find it, you add it to your basket. You go to the payment page, and then for whatever reason, you don't buy it. Have you ever done that? Don't tell me you haven't, we've all done it, whether it was on Amazon, where it's on any other shop, we go on there with full intention to buy something, even add it to the basket, but don't buy it. Why do we do that? Today I'm going to be talking to you about the two-step order form, why you need it, and how to implement it on ClickFunnels. Oh, and by the way, even if you're not using ClickFunnels, still watch the first part of this video. You're going to need to put this on whatever platform you're using, you're going to want to do this. So what is a two-step order form? Well, let's look at a one-step order form first. That kind of makes sense, right? So they go buy now and you've got one page like, and it asks for everything. Like you're asking them for their name, their email, their phone number, address, credit card number, expiry date, the three magic numbers, your aunt's dog's name. Like you ask them for everything, right? All on this page. And basically they get to the page and they go, crap, that looks like a lot of work, right? There's so much stuff for them to fill in. So most of the time they don't even fill it in. They just leave. It's crazy, right? But that's what happens. So a two-step order form breaks that down into two parts, right? So it breaks it down into the first page they might see will just ask for, say, name, email, phone number, right? And then they hit go to step two, and that's when they then fill in their credit card information. Boom, they've bought. And one thing I just want to say is I think, I feel like in the world of funnels right now, in the world of marketing, we're trying to automate everything. Like it's the whole make money while you sleep. And don't get me wrong, like making money while I sleep and making money like without any input from me is absolutely ideal. Of course it is. Like we want to remove as much stress as possible. But every now and again, there comes a point where there might be a need for human connection. There might be a need for a salesperson. There might be a need for you to pick up the phone and call that person and help them make that buying decision. Like I said, you'll often add things to your Amazon basket and not buy it. And one of the ways Amazon gets back at you is that they post that stuff on Facebook, it suddenly comes to your emails as a special offer, whatever it is, but you start seeing it again and again and again until you buy. I just wanted to share with you a quick real life example. You see, I spoke to this guy the other day. You know, he's actually, you know, he's got a pretty big following on Facebook. Uh, he's on like national TV. Uh, I'm not gonna share his name or anything like that, but basically he's got an audience. Right, and he's he's got this product, it's an amazing product to sell. It's gonna help a lot, a lot of people. But and he launched this product and he, he built a, a, a landing page, a sales funnel, and he started driving people to it. And he was super frustrated because no one was clicking the buy button, no one was buying it. Like thousands and thousands of people had seen this page, but no one had bought. And it was a relatively low cost product. Like the barrier to entry for this, this program, you know, wasn't huge. So why weren't people buying? Like we're talking like nothing, like literally no one. And look, yes, his sales page needs some work. Of, like, of course, like looking through it, I was like, yep, there's a lot of changes that he's making here. But ultimately, we talked about one thing that he was going to change, like immediately. One thing. And that was we took out this big long order form and we swapped it for this two step order form that I'm talking about today. And when we did that, two things started happening. Number one, people started buying automatically, i.e., no input from him whatsoever, just going through the funnel and buying, which was awesome. But number two, Tons of people were filling in the first step, name, email, phone number, and then not buying. Like they got to step two and for whatever reason didn't fill in their credit card information, didn't hit the buy now button. And like why does that happen? It happens for a number of reasons, like all silly things like they don't know where their purse is, they don't know where like they don't know where their wallet is, they, the kids shout from the other room, the doorbell goes, like they suddenly get a bit like, they start questioning whether they need it or not, right? Too many things come up, which means that they then just click off. But there's a big difference. Now he has their information. Whereas before they'd get to the page, they'd see that big order form, they'd just leave. Now he knows who the people are that are really interested because they've at least filled in step one of that order form. Does that make sense? And I haven't actually checked his stats, but from what he's saying, it sounds like of everyone who goes through this first step of the order form, 
almost like 75% of them aren't buying, aren't clicking the buy, they're filling in their information and clicking buy now. And so look, he's got their name, their email and their phone number. I told him to pick up the phone, pick up the phone and start calling these people. And that's exactly what he did. I mean, this guy's an action taker. It helps. These people clearly wanted to buy. Like, they clearly wanted the product. They wouldn't have gone through step one if they didn't. So give them a call. See if it's just that they need a little hand-holding to make that purchasing decision. And one week later, he is selling almost everybody that fills in that first part, but not the second part. Like, sales have just gone from literally zero, like, to, like, growing and growing and growing, which is just amazing. And that was all from just one change, changing the order form from like a big long order form to a two step really simple order form. And I know there'll be people watching this going, oh, but do I really have to pick up the phone to every single person? To which I respond, are you serious? Do you want to grow your business? <laughs> right? Like, and I say that, but I'm, like, I'm deadly serious. Like, yes, it's only a 99 pound product, but actually, if it takes a five, 10 minute phone call to sell someone onto a 99 pound product, isn't that worth it? In fact, you could hire someone for what, 20 pound an hour to call your leads all day long, sell them onto the 99 pound product. Like, like this is a no brainer. And actually, if you're looking at just that 99 pound product, you're being really short sighted. And what I want to encourage you to do is look at the, the longer term, right? So if this is the first product they buy at 99 pounds, right? There's a percentage of those people that will buy the next thing. And let's say the next thing is a, I don't know, a 500 pound product or a 500 pound a month product. Yes, it's putting in a lot of effort to get that first sale. Of course it is. But it's remember, it's so much easier to get someone to buy from you when they've already bought from you before. And actually, once someone's invested 99 pounds with you, they're way more likely to invest the, the 500 pounds in a product or service, right? So don't look at it as just calling for that 99 pounds. Look at it for calling for the next 500 pounds, the next thousand pounds. So basically what I'm saying is don't be afraid of the phone. Pick that phone up, call those leads, and help them with that buying decision of buying your product. Okay, so let's jump over onto the computer right now, and I'm gonna show you how to set the two-step order form up in ClickFunnels. Let's go. So here we are inside of ClickFunnels. I've just opened up a brand new sales funnel just for the demonstration today, just to show you what we're doing. Um, but as you can see, it would be a really simple, and I haven't even set up the pages. Uh, so we haven't even done anything apart from the order form page. And I've set up a couple of order form pages just to give you examples and show you what you need to do. We were talking about the difference between the one step order forms and the two step order forms. Let me just show you what I mean by that. So your one step order form would look like, the, and by the way, please pay no attention to the design of the pages. I've not edited these at all. These are just simply the templates that you'd get inside of ClickFunnels. But look, here is a uh, one step order form. Uh, as you can see here, look, you get to the page and look, and this is what I mean by that. You get here, you say you want the product and then you've got all of this to fill in before you can even like get started, right? So then you get first name, last name, email address, phone number, your address, then you get to your credit card. And it's just, if you're trying to put a barrier in the way of someone buying your product, this is it. <laughs> and I think, look, and, and you might need all this information, but when you do it like this, there's just, it just, it's so long. And especially, look, let me show you what it looks like on mobile uh, or cell, cell phone, depending on where you are. Again, they scroll down and it's like this never ending list of things that you need from them. And I think people get to this page and they just go, oh, I just, I'll do it. I'll deal with it later. I'll do it later. Right. And, and it, they have every intention of coming back, but they never come back. Right. They lose the page or whatever. But and that's and if that's a barrier that we can remove and that can make like, that can make such a big increase in our sales. Like this is this is a no brainer. So that's the one step order form. Let's have a look what the two step order form looks like. I mean, how much better is that? Like, how much simpler is that? It's ridiculous, right? And if I just show you how this works, let's just put my name, let's just enter any old, I love it, it even tells you that it thinks you got your email wrong, enter any number, go to step two, fill in your credit card information, done. How, like, how much simpler does that look? I mean, yes, we haven't included the address on that one, uh, but if you don't need the address, don't ask for it. Uh, <laughs> it just removes another barrier. But that is like, that's so simple. And again, on your phone, this is what it would look like. Again, three things they have to fill in compared to the 17 or whatever it was on the other one, right? So much easier. So what I wanna do now is show you how to build that on your pages. Ready? Let's go. So we go back to our ClickFunnels funnel. And by the way, I just, I included this one because I just wanna show you to make sure that you can get the order form aspect to it. 
just make sure that you select order form, sales, order form, right when looking at the templates because that's the way that you'll be able to get your the order form thing in there. But let's go back, I was editing order form two. In fact, where were we? Had it here. This is how it looks on desktop. So let me just get rid of this. So here, I mean, this is what you're essentially doing. You got the page where you want to put the order form element. You've got your section where you want to put it. Add new element. Two step order. Great. Here's what it looks like. It automatically fills it. You don't have to add each thing individually, but we want to change this. So let's say we don't need the address. Click on settings. Uh, go to advanced and toggle shipping, hide shipping, immediately removes it. So already it's looking better, already it's looking like it's gonna be much easier. Uh, if you wanted to change the button color, change it to green for example, great, there we go. And perhaps if, it's, if you're taking away the address, it's probably not shipping, is it? So let's have a look at step one, so show step one settings, let's change shipping to, I don't know, your details. Uh, enter your details below perfect great so that's step one done now you want to see what happens on step two remember I showed you it went through to the credit card information so let's just hide that let's go show step two see what that looks like so look you've got this section now and actually on in the example I've removed this order form bump but actually this is a mate this is a great tool for a very very quick upsell like if you've got something else a little add-on that you think that's going to add a lot of benefit to them this is such an easy way to do that and I'll show you how to edit that in just a second but I mean look you've got everything you need here um, your info your billing info they the product will automatically update here especially if there's only one if there's two or three products that you've got on the page you can do that but essentially you've got one product there great enter the credit card information it'll tell them the amount and great complete order. So if we want to remove this order form bump, it's as simple as going to advanced, toggle order bump, hide order bump, and it's gone. Done. <laughs> How easy is that? And But if you do want that order form bump, here's what you'd do. You'd go show order bump, there it is, and then to change it, you just make sure that we're on step two, show step two, yeah, great. Bump headline, yes, I'll take it, and you could change this to um, yes, I want the special offer too. I will take it, whatever it is. One time offer, and maybe you could put like, I don't know, whatever it is, 15 pounds offer, whatever, right? You can, you can fill in the blanks here, I'm not gonna go and do that now. You can change the button text if you want. You could have complete order now if you want it. Like, you can basically edit the whole freaking thing, right? And that is literally it. That's your two-step order form set up. That's working. Uh, you just need to make sure that you add the products. Do you want me to show you how to do that? Okay, five seconds, let's do that. So that's it. Make sure you hit save, exit. To add the product once you're in here, you literally just go to products, click add product, and hopefully it'll load. There you go. And you literally just fill in the information here. I'll link it up with Stripe, whatever the currency is whatever the amount is, what you want the amount to look like, create product, remember to put the fulfillment email. If you've got an email integration like active campaign or whatever, add that in too, and you're good to go. Like so easy, it's crazy. Uh, so go in there and get that set up. I'd also have a series of emails go out to anybody who doesn't purchase. So if they visit the page, fill in their info, but don't purchase, have a series of emails going out to them. Like I said before, perhaps it's like testimonials or like question, like frequently asked questions that people have before they buy, things like that that drive them back to the sales page so that they can finish making their purchase. But that's it, that's how you set up your two-step order form. I hope that's gonna help you make a load more sales. Remember though, for those that don't buy, pick up the phone and get to calling them as well. That's all from me for this week, guys. I hope that's been useful. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button, whichever side that like button is on. Hit it now. And make sure that you leave me a comment and subscribe as well so you never miss a video. Until next week, catch you later. Bye.